Let's do problem number six. The data set below represents the amount of time in minutes a group of students spend on social media. So they have all these different times. Form a box plot using StatCrunch. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna write it right here, so A. So to form a box plot, we just go to StatCrunch, which is right here, and then we just type in all the numbers. And always be really careful when you type in numbers. This is 15, 30, whoops, 30, uh, 60, 5, 10, 120, 10, 9, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Wow, the numbers are all over the place. 200, ooh, big. 360, 2, 3, and then 60. Let me just double check. It's really easy to mess up. 15, 30, 60, 5, 10, 120, 10, 90, 100, 0, 200, 360, 2, 3, and 60. Perfect. So now we just go to graph, and you go down to where it says box plot. Select var1, okay, and then you can uncheck this here. Use fences to identify outliers. And then check on draw boxes horizontally. Let me do that again. Graph, box plot, select var1, uncheck this, and then just check this. Draw boxes horizontally. It should be good. There's some other stuff here, but it doesn't really matter. So just make sure you select that and uncheck that and compute. And there we have it. So now we're just going to do a rough sketch of our box plot. It doesn't have to be you know, perfect, um, just a rough sketch. So I'll do it here. Okay, something like that. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's great. Oh, this is awesome. All right, so there we go. Whoa, right there. All right. So, okay, so what else do we need? That's part A. We're going to come back and finish the box plot. We're going to label it in a minute, but let's go to the next part. Uh, what is the overall distribution? Symmetric, right skewed, or left skewed? So this one is going to be right skewed. That's part B. So right skewed. Basically, it's wherever the tail is. So if it looks, you know, something like this, that's left skewed, this is right skewed, and then symmetric would be balanced on both sides. So wherever the skinny part is, uh, it's skewed. So this one up here would be left skewed, and then this one is right skewed. Part C. Let's see, what does part C say? What is the five number summary? Ah, okay. So if you hover over your box plot, there it is. So you see, oh, I can't move my mouse because then I can't see it. <laughs> so the first one is the min. So the min, Q1, median, Q3, and max. That's the five number summary. So 0, 5, 30, 100, 360. So 0, 5, 30, 100, 360. Let me just double check that. There we go. 0, 5, 30, 100, 360. That's the five number summary. And now you can go up here and label them. So 0, 5, 30, 100, 360. Now we have a complete box plot. And the last part is what is the IQR? It's called the inter interquartile range. You can get it manually by looking here. You just subtract 100 minus 5 so you get 95. But if you like, you can just hover over the box and there's the answer, 95. So hovering over the box basically gives you all of the answers. It gives you the five number summary, which is the min, Q1, the median, Q3, and the max. And it gives you the IQR, which is 95. By the way, the median is also called Q2, just a random fact. And this one was skewed right because the tail is to the right. This one up here is skewed left. And just for emphasis, symmetric would be something like this. If it was, you know, roughly the same on both sides, this would be, you know, symmetric. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.